hey y'all welcome back to my channel um today we'll be doing some frenchies some uh mint blue fringe um i already did um prep my nails um so yeah i skipped that part out because yeah it was just too much for me but anyways so we'll be doing some short frenchies y'all this is the shortest nails i've ever done on myself the shortest nail i've ever worn matter of fact um so yeah we're prepping the nails um with our dehydrator first i use the dehydrator and then the primer um so yeah let's get into it uh also listen i'm realizing that when the temperature is not right if the temperature is too low your acrylic will be so runny and i yeah i'm learning this the hard way right now um one more thing like when i pick up the acrylic powder it seems a bit dry but then it gets runny obviously because of the the um how cold it is um but why is it so dry i'm still trying to figure that out but i'm gonna try doing it um real bit and see how it works but i'm gonna turn the ac up a bit first before i do that so yeah this is my application and the application was not e um easy because of the fact that the acrylic was so runny so I'm just working with what I have right now and next time I'll just turn the temperature up. Do not make the mistake like I did and flood my cuticle, cuticle um, area. Uh, yeah, and it was very hard to fix. Like that is very over flooded. No, <clears throat> let me tell you something. This acrylic powder that i bought i love the color like the color is really nice but it does not i don't know if the if it's the acrylic powder to liquid ratio i'm getting wrong but i have another one that i used the other day it's a pink one um and it's not like that like it flows up so perfect so perfect but y'all this is a mess like i just put my cuticle area and i'm seeing it more now that i'm watching this video over but that is okay that can be fixed not something you would want to do professionally on someone all right even here you see that the uh the acrylic powder is the acrylic is a bit dry and then it starts to get really runny all right so i try to make it dry and it looks so dry it gets runny so i'm going to blame this on the the temperature of the house i'm sorry that's that <laughs> but yeah watching this back right now i'm realizing some mistakes that i make um like flooding the cuticle area um on two of the nails but 
that's an easy cleanup for me like that's an easy cleanup for me but i want to reach a point where i do not flood any cuticles at all um because the flooding the cuticles um can cause lifting and we don't want no lifting now this is so complicated doing this on my nails on, by, on, on myself so i'm not gonna beat myself up too much you know but doing it on someone else's nail i do not flood the cuticles i do not but when it comes to mine anything goes because i'm still trying to get used to doing my own nails so i'm just working with what i got um until i get better like time alone time alone is gonna um help me at this point time more practice um with doing my nails and with the cuticle area and i'm telling you right now the way that i used to flood my cuticles when i just started as i continue to practice more and more my cuticle area is getting way better the way that um i apply the acrylic around my cuticle area yeah it's getting way better so i'm proud of myself for that um so yeah as i was saying this um uh acrylic was hard to work with because of the temperature in the in the room and that's okay that's okay so you see like y'all it looks a bit dry but then it starts getting so runny <laughs> oh god yeah this is when i put my cuticles again but that's okay that can be fixed um so yeah I know I be 
this is a file that i've used before it's mine i can use it more than once so don't come for me thanks So this is just me going around the cuticle area with the gel bit to seal the cuticle area and to take off those excess um, acrylic that I put on there because I d definitely flooded my cuticle area so I'm trying to um, seal the cuticle so it does not lift. Let it run work that you shot. Uh, the whole lucky when you hot. Uh, think I ain't gave me a shot. Uh, this ain't much that 
reference like a damn storm. storm. My life full of fun, fun. and I'm one of my hoes born. born. But she never had a time, but she never had a time. Oh, she never had more alone. Then he gives me a gun. Cause with me it's a whole war. war. Ain't finished or done. Finish or done. We got some, but we tryna get more. Tryna get more. Honestly, this is the best part of doing uh, my nails. I enjoy doing this part, and it's not as easy as it seems. Like French seems like such a simple set, but it's not easy to do. Honestly, like most times I struggle, but French is my favorite design to do, and there's so many things that you can do with it. Also, not just um basic French. Like a damn storm. storm. My life full of fun. fun. And I'm one of my hoes. 
if you're gonna add rhinestones to your nail you do not need to put polish over it first just fyi going to add our top coats And this is the finished look. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.